Let's attempt 2015 Amy 2 problem 7. We have triangle ABC having side lengths AB is equal to 12, BC equals to 25, and CA equals to 17. So let me do some calculation really fast. 12 squared is 144, 17 squared is 289. Adding them up gets us 433 which is less than 25 squared of 625 so our triangle our triangle is obtuse so we know our triangle is obtuse and this is going to help us out once we start drawing a diagram rectangle pqrs has vertex p on ab q on ac and vertices r and s on bc i'm going to have to visualize that we are about to draw a picture but let's read on for now in terms of the side lengths pq equaling w the area of PQRS can be expressed as the quadratic form polynomial alpha w minus beta times w squared. Then the coefficient beta is m over n, and we, and we wish to find m plus n. So let's get right to it. So we have triangle ABC, and our BC is the longest side. So we have, so we have something like this, something like this. BC is the longest side, which is 25. Our AB is 12. AC is 17. And we have rectangle PQRS. PQRS. Let me actually draw a larger diagram. This thing is too small. So let me just draw a larger one. So something like this. Yes, that looks much better than it used to be. So we have ABC, 25, 17, 12. And we have, we have PQRS, we have P on AB, so we have P on AB, we have Q on AC and R and S on BC. So we have Q on AC and R and S on BC. So we have something like this going on, and it's a rectangle. So we have all 90 degrees, opposite angles, uh, opposite sides are equal and everything going on. So we know this thing is a rectangle. And we know area of this rectangle, area of the rectangle is equal to alpha w minus beta w squared. Let me factor out w to get alpha minus beta w. And we know w is pq. They told us that w was pq. So what do we know? We know w was pq and we know the area of the entire thing is w times alpha minus beta w that's telling us this length is alpha minus beta w maybe that's a starting point what else do we know well when w is zero when w is right here when w is zero our area should be zero and this formula justifies that when you plug in zero for w the area you're going to get out of it is going to be w but there is another value of w that's going to get us area of zero and that's when w is equal to 25 when w becomes the entire side length bc or w is equal to 25 our area should be zero realize w is starting at zero it's increasing making another rectangle making this rectangle making this one until it reaches 25 at which point we have a line so when w is 25 we should get area of zero so let's try plugging in 25 and we want to get zero so 25 times alpha minus 25 beta and that's telling us this part has to be zero or alpha is equal to 25 beta and this thing is telling us alpha divided by beta is 25. So that's very good to know. So why don't we just rewrite this equation in terms of beta? So let me rewrite this equation. Let's go. Ah, let me just let me just do it. So area of rectangle is W times our alpha is going to be 25 beta. And we have minus beta W. We can factor out beta. So we have we have W times 25 minus w so we have our area rectangle being this so we know the side length is w not w beta times 25 minus w so we have gone quite far what can we do now well one thing we can do is we can just select any value to be our w we can let w be 5 w be 10 w be 1 and we can set up some equation using this right triangle and this right triangle to obtain the value of w that's one way of doing it 
And since we have everything, why, why don't we? Let's, let's go with that in this video. So let's select W of 5 and we can go on. So we have a similar triangle going on. We have this triangle being similar to triangle ABC. So we have this length, the, a, the AP being 1 fifth of 12 and we have AQ being 1 fifth of 17. And that's telling us that QC, QC is going to be 17 times 4 over 5 or 68 over 5 and our P, B, P, PB is going to be 48 over 5. Okay, let me let me make sure we know what's going on. I am picking a random value for W and we're going to use that to find PS or QR which should allow us to substitute W equals to 5 into this equation and find beta which is what we want. So let's continue. Let's continue this process and let's let this part be X. Let's let this part be 20 minus X because this length is 5. We selected 5. We want this value to be 20 minus X. So when you add it up with X, you get 20. And since 20 plus 5 is 25, that's the value we want. And this thing is getting a bit messy. We have we have this, this side and this side being the same. And we have two right triangles. And let me show you them. We have one right triangle right here. We have another one right here. So we can use those to get an equation relating relating the axis to the same side lengths. So we know the hypotenuse squared, 48 over 5 squared minus x squared has to be the same thing as 68 over 5 squared minus 20 minus x squared, just applying Pythagorean theorem to find square of this length for both triangles and we can simplify this. You have 48 over 5 squared minus x squared is 68 over 5 squared minus 400 um, minus 40x plus x squared and let me just let me just rewrite this minus 400 plus 40x minus x squared and you have 48 over 5 squared minus x squared x squares are going to cancel out so we have we have 40x we have 40x is equal to, let's move everything else over to the other side, 48 over 5 squared minus 68 over 5 squared plus 400. Now let's try to simplify this. You have 48 squared minus 68 squared over 25 plus 400, which is, which is, 48 squared minus 68 squared is using difference of squares, 48 minus 68 times 48 plus 68 which is negative 20 times 116, which is what? Negative 200 and 2320 is what we get. And multiplying 400 by 25 to have a common denominator gets us 10,000, right? 10 to 10000. And you want to subtract 2320. So we have we have a we have 7680. So we have 7680 over 25. Whew. Let's continue. So we have x equal to 7680 over 25 times 40. And we can simplify this. Zeros we can cancel out. And we can divide by 4. And we have 192 on the top. So we have 192 divided by 25 being our x. Now we can find, now we can find beta, now we can find QR, now we can find beta times 25 minus W. So we have beta times, since W is 5 in this case, so uh, we have 20 times beta is equal to, is equal to, uh, what, what was this? 48 over 5 squared minus x squared, and we're going to square root that. So square root of 48 over 5 squared minus x and our x was 192 over 25. So 192 over 25 squared, and this thing is 20 beta. So we're very close to being done. So we have, let's, let's rewrite this, 48 squared over 25 minus 192 squared over 25 squared. Let's get 1 over 20 out, 25 out. So you have 25 times 48 squared minus 192 squared, and you're square rooting this. Ooh, this is lots of equation cracking we're doing. 
1 over 25 times square root of, well, this thing is the same thing as 5 times 48 squared. So we have 5 times 48 using difference of squares, minus 192 times 5 times 48 plus 192. So what's 5 times 48? That's 240. So 240 minus 192 is 48. 240 plus 192 is 432. So we have 1 over 25 times square root of 48 times 432. Okay, let's try to prime factorize this somehow. 48 is 6 times 8. Uh, 432, what goes into it? We can plug in 8 and we can get 54 out of it. 54 is 6 times 9. Hey, we have it. We have square root of 8 squared times 6 squared times 9, which is 3 squared. Or 1 over 25 times 8 times 6 times 3. And we know this thing is 20 beta. So our beta is going to be, we are very close to being done. Just one more step. 8 times 6 times 3 divided by 25 times 20. And we can, we can divide by 2, to, uh, divide by 4 to make this 2, make this 5. And we're done. We have 36 on the top of the fraction, 125 on the bottom of the fraction. Uh, so our answer is going to be 36 plus 125, also known as 161. So our answer, so our answer to Amy, to 2015 problem 7 is 161.